Hey guys, so this is our next video on the WeVideo project. This is on how to finish your project and how to ultimately upload it to YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and open our project, which is done at this point. So at this point, you have added your audio introduction. You've added slides with information with the audio under it. You've added a YouTube video. You've added um, image analysis and you've added your uh, audio conclusion. So they should look something like that with one thing after another one set up like this. So now we're going to go click on finish. We click on finish, we're going to hit HD and we're going to click here to YouTube. Now I did this at home and uh, when I did this at home, when I click export, it went straight to YouTube. But here at school, I don't know if our firewalls are stopping it. It is not going to YouTube. So when you do it at home, there's a good chance that when you click here, make sure it's highlighted that it actually will send it to YouTube and it'll be easier for you to do it at home. But if it doesn't, I'm gonna show you how you could still get it up to YouTube, even though this won't send you directly. So we're gonna hit export. Now, the thing is, depending on the size of the video, it's going to take a certain amount of time. So you have to wait for it to process. Basically, right now, the Wii video is creating your project. It's putting together all the audio, all the video, all the images, everything that you put in your project and creating it into one MP4 file that is like a video file that you're going to be able to upload into YouTube. So um, it's going to be, a, it might take, depending on how long your project is, it might take a few minutes for it to be uh, what it's doing right now. And eventually what's going to pop up it's going to pop up saying your video has been created. Now, when your video is created, it will give you a link that will be a Wii video link. The problem is that Wii video link is only accessible by you. So if you send that link to me as your project, I won't be able to open it. What you will have to do is download the Wii video. And when you download the Wii video, then you will name it the same thing as what we had before. And then you will take that downloaded video and that you will upload to YouTube. And you can see here it's done. So this link right here, if you send me that link, I will not be able to open it. So the video is ready to go. It's been put together already. So now we're going to download it. You can see here, this is a download. One. So when you click on that, it starts to download it. You see here it's downloading already. Right now you can see oh, it's ready to go. Now, if you go to your downloaded um, file, you'll see here's the video itself right here. So this is your, like their desktop, the documents and downloads. And you see that there's the video project right there. The one that we just downloaded. Now, when you go to YouTube, you're going to go here and you're going to go to YouTube. Now, YouTube creates an account for you as well. Um, since you're using your school issued email for your Wii video, you should be able to uh, log in here. So it's like, if I click on here, see it has my name. This is my school email, YouTube. Uh, most of the videos that I make for you guys on my website come from my personal one. So you're going to go here and you're going to click on this plus button right here. And what it's asking is, what it's saying basically is that you want to upload the video that you just downloaded from WeVideo. So you're going to click on here. Let me do that. Upload video. Now it's going to ask you, okay, well, where is the video? The one you're up to. So you want to select files and you're going to have to go here to downloads. You go to downloads. Look, there's the video that we just created and downloaded. And when you click open, it's going to upload it. Now, when you go, if you do this at home, where you hit, click the, the YouTube file at the end where you said finish, it should take you directly to here. All the steps that I've showed you in between is if it doesn't. How to download it and how to still go up here. And here, the project already has its name because you that's where you titled the name. And you're going to click next. And then you're going to make sure it says, yes, it's made for kids. And you're going to click next. And then you're going to click next. And then right here, it's going to be checking to make sure that there is no type of issues, especially when it comes to copyright. Um, so once it's done, it's going to ask you if this is for the public. You're going to click public, and then you're going to click next on that. So um, this might take a few minutes because it's checking the video that you're uploading to make sure that there is no copyright infringement. See, no issues found. So we're going to be able to click next and then make it public and then hit publish. Now, when you click publish, now it is actually publishing your um, your project. So now it's taking the video that you downloaded and uploading it to YouTube where you could turn it in as a link. When you hit close, it's going to take you to your uh, like the, uh, where all your videos are. And see, here is the video itself. Now, if you want the link to the video, the one that you're going to turn in, you're going to click here to the little uh, icon for play, and it's going to open up. And there's a video to be your video introduction into your that you put together. So this is a video 
a prom movie video that has everything put together that you did on your project but now you have the link that you could turn in which is up here so you're going to highlight the url of your youtube video that you just uploaded from the wee video you downloaded you right click you hit copy and this is what you turn in all right hope that helps if you're not let me know i'll help you with this before or after school thank you